Good morning, everybody. All right, last day of my vacation. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, all right, we have our heart rate workout of the day. We're gonna start with our toe touch. So we're gonna go feet together, legs straight, and reach for those toes. Reach for those toes, take a few deep breaths at the bottom. And then we're gonna go for our squat hold. Wide stance, squat down, take a few deep breaths at the bottom. Awesome, all right. Next we're gonna go into our calf stretch. We'll grab a dumbbell or something to elevate your toes with. Then we're gonna drive those hips forward. Get that good stretch right in that calf muscle. Remember to breathe. Feel free to throw some music on. Switch sides. Awesome. Next, we're going to go into our half kneeling hip flexor stretch. So, we're going to kneel down on one knee, tuck those hips under, and then lean forward a little bit. Get that good stretch right in the front of that hip. Remember to breathe. Switch sides. Next, we're going to go into our single leg quad rock back. So we're going to go into your hands, knees, one leg up to the side. We're going to rock back and forth. You should start to feel good stretch on the inside of that street leg. Switch sides. And rest. Next, we're going to go into our sideline clamshells. So we're going to lay on your side, hips and knees about 90 degrees. 
I'm gonna keep your feet together, open at your knees and try to squeeze the glute on the leg that's moving. Small range of motion, keep those hips together. You don't wanna open up. Keep those hips together, open the knees. Remember to breathe. Switch sides. And rest, we're gonna stay in this position and we're gonna head into our side lying windmills. So you're gonna sweep that hand over your head and then come back across your chest. And again, keep your palm down. Try to follow that hand with your eyes and come back across your chest. Remember to breathe. Feel free to sit in the stretch for a few seconds longer. Good. And roll over to the other side. And rest. Next, we're gonna go into our wrist stretches. We'll go about five rocks in each position, and then we'll grab some water. Shake it out, go ahead and grab some water. Show you all of them and then just follow along. 
All right, don't, you don't have to start now. We're just gonna show you what they all are and then we'll go for it. All right, so again, first round, we're gonna start with one rep of everything. We have a jump squat. Um, if those hurt your knees or anything, you can do a body weight squat as a modification. And then we're gonna go into a push up. Okay, I'm probably gonna go into a, a negative push up to start. Go down nice and slow. Use your knees to help you get back up. And you got a push up position, shoulder touch, one each side. And then we're gonna stand up and we have a single leg ground touch for one each side. All right. So this one can get a little bit complicated. Um, actually, no, it's not that bad. Not that bad. We can do it. All right. It's early. I don't normally work out this early. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. All right, everybody. Are you ready? Just follow along and do your best. All right. We're starting out with one jump squat. Go for it. Oh, we get to count down. Sorry. New timer. All right, one jump squat. One push up. Into one single leg. Oop. I'm going to probably keep doing that. Uh, we have our one shoulder touch each side. And then our single leg ground touch. Now we get to rest for the rest of the minute. That's gonna be a rough, rough one to remember and feel like. We'll get it. <clears throat> nice long rest at the top of the minute. We're going to go into two jump squats, two push ups two shoulder touches, and two single leg ground touches. You have five seconds. Get ready. Get set. Go for it. We've got two jump squats, two push-ups, two shoulder touches. Stand up. One into two single leg ground touches. Find something to stay right on the floor on these. If you need to hold on to something, that's totally fine. After your two, we're gonna rest for the rest of the minute. Single leg ground touches, like we said, if you need to hold on to something, that's totally fine. You're still working on balance, you're still getting those same muscles. Just focusing on not falling over. <clears throat> 10 reps, I mean 10 seconds, we're going into 3 reps of everything, and go for it, 3 jump squats, 3 push ups, 3 shoulder touches, and 3 ground touches, go slow, take your time, On the single leg ground touches, a uh, hard surface is easier. No shoes is easier. If your feet have time to feel the ground a little bit more. Let's see how many reps we can get to without burning out of time. We've got 10 seconds. Now we're gonna go into four reps of everything. Get ready, and go for it. Four reps. Four push-ups. Four shoulder touches. And four ground touches. When you're going into the ground touches, stand the leg you're standing on, 
reach the opposite hand down. It just helps keep your hips in line much better. All right, we're getting down there. We got 10 seconds to go. And we're going into five reps of everything. Get ready. And go for it. Five jump squats. Five push-ups. Five shoulder touches. Five crown touches. And we get to rest for the rest of the minute. If you need water at any time, grab some water. For your push-ups, um, you can work on regular push-ups, negatives, where you go down nice and slowly, or you can go elevated. Towards the end, I might go elevated. They're getting rough. All right, we're going to go into our single leg ground touches for six. Breathe, you got it.
for 10. You got it. If you ran out of rest time, finish your sets and go back to one. Don't feel like you have to go with me. I'm about to run out of rest anyway. Most important thing on those ground touches, keep that knee soft, not locked out, not bent, soft, and hips in line. Whew. We are over halfway there. And about seven more rounds to go. Well, I guess six. We're going into four reps of everything. And go for it. Push-ups. 
rest in a minute. We're gonna get ready for six reps. Let's see, you think I can get all the way back up to 10? We'll see. Going into six in three, two, one, go. So you're gonna have my butt this time. Ten seconds, we're going into nine. Go! Going into 10 reps, this is our last set. Go for it. in time. 
Awesome job, everybody. Grab some water. Grab some water. All right, we're gonna do an easy, easy finisher for today. We're gonna do 100 hip ups and then you're done. Another sweat angel. High fives, everybody. Good job. Finish up your 100 and then you are done. Post your sweaty selfie. So I know you did your workout. Um, and I'll see you soon. Good job.